Hi, this is Sid Garza Hillman and Matt Frazier, the No Meat Athlete. I run the Wellness Center here at the Stanford Inn and I'm also the nutritionist. But Matt and I co host a vegan running retreat. And we wanted to tell you a little bit about that just so you know it's, it's really an incredible um, experience for people. And I think we just want to get let you know what's going on. Tell them a little bit about the runs themselves. I mean, it's been amazing. This is only our third day, I guess, of our first retreat that we've done. So I didn't quite know what to expect, but uh, the running has been has been better than anything I've done on the East Coast. I mean, we the first day we ran part of the course of year 50K, right along these cliffs that drop down to the ocean, all these crashing waves with big rock formations out there. I've seen seals, deer. It's been incredible. It's, it's really been amazing running so far. And we want to stress that two a day, this, yeah, two -a -day runs, but we have to stress this is for all levels. Like this is not intense training. Um, some people decided on one of the afternoons to just go for a light bike ride instead. This is a, um, a really great experience for anybody. It's not, you don't have to be a great runner. We, Matt and I run with people at, at all different paces. The retreat also includes uh, yoga for runners. Warren Bishop is our yoga instructor. He tailored classes private just for the running retreat group. Tell them about the accommodations and the food and stuff. They're incredible. The rooms are beautiful. There's a fire, a log in every fireplace every night that all you have to do is light it up. It's, it's all set and ready to go. Um, cookies on the... <laughs> Matt just, loves I've the cookies. I've just been destroying the cookies. The, the other thing that, that guests should know is we, we crafted this so, yes, there's runs and there's the yoga classes too, but there's plenty of downtime, right? And so people, like today, there's a couple of the runners went on a canoe. Um, there's a indoor pool, sauna, and jacuzzi. There's obviously biking, and then of course the restaurant, like Matt said, it's really an, a great relaxing thing, but also to get out on these local trails and roads, it's incredibly beautiful, and nothing, nothing is too tough. Um, there is an option if you wanna go a little farther and faster, you can, but there's really, it's really not that necessary. Yeah, and I mean, there's small groups, so we kind of get time to spend with everyone, whether it's on the runs, which it has been so far, but then, you know, we kind of eat at, at our own, and you can eat whenever you want, uh, but it just so happens that most people are eating around the same time. So I've had a bunch, dinner with pretty much everyone who's been here, um, run with everyone who's been here, and it's, it's a really, really nice personal experience. It's really a, really a good time, and we all, I do want to stress what Matt just said, is we on purpose keep the numbers low. We want this to be really intimate and really fun. I give a nutrition, healthy living uh, talk. Matt gives a, a talk on his philosophy of, of, of running and, and exercise and all those kinds of things. So it is, in, in a way it's an immersion, but it's so relaxing and rejuvenating and people leave here feeling um, enlivened. You know, that's the part I wasn't totally expecting. I mean, I was looking at this as a fun running retreat, figured there'd be tons of running, lots of food, thinking of it also as a work trip, but there's been so much nice downtime that I've had time to like do different, more meditation than ever at home. Uh, been in the sauna two times now, hot tub a couple of times. So for me, you know, I didn't bring any work figuring I'd be busy doing stuff, but I've, there's all this nice free time. So it's been, it's been a very, very nice uh, getaway for, for me and I'm sure everybody else. Hey, I'm Mike. I was here at Stanford Inn for this uh, wonderful runner's retreat this week. I learned more this week in so many things in terms of technique, in terms of support and how amazing the sport of running is and who is a part of it. Um, I've been doing running for a year and what I learned in this week surpassed everything I've found on my own uh, and then some. I am so grateful for the experience this week. Um, the time spent in the yoga, the time spent running on the trail. Um, you can't put a price on the, all those uh, minutes. You've got Matt and Sid doing the yoga with you, they're running the trails with you, um, and just the opportunities to learn from everybody, um, to hear how everybody approaches running, and to learn from each other were some of the most amazing and wonderful surprises for me this week. Also, had never done two-a-days, and uh, to challenge myself and to do that with other people who were also feeling um, the challenge as well was a remarkable experience to go through and uh, I just can't say it enough about how um, inspiring and how motivating and supportive uh, this week was. Uh, learning yoga from Warren um, taught me so much about uh, the mental aspect too. It wasn't just learning some great stretches which were fantastic, um, but just how I'm going to approach uh, my running and everything else. Um, just learned so many things this week that uh, it's hard for me to put into words, but I am so grateful and 
very glad that I did this. Hello, I'm Kira, and we just finished the vegan running retreat this week, and it was the most amazing experience. We got to run through some forests in some of the most beautiful country I've ever seen. Had tons of fun with Matt and Sid, and made friends along the way, and just did tons of fun things, and had good laughs and good memories. I hope to come back soon, because it was a blast. So if you want to find out more about this vegan running retreat, it's an amazing experience. It really, really is. Go to StanfordInn.com. We'll put the information at the end of this video. Otherwise, we'd love to see you at a future retreat. I would love to see you at this retreat, and I'm looking forward to the next one.